You know, some of my best mornings are when I wake up to a view like this. And I'm just living my life in peace, my retirement. Not living my life to please people on YouTube. Um, there's so many critics out there. I'm 60 and I am just loving this opportunity to just see the beauty in the world out here, to capture it in photography, and just have that amazing hobby and enjoy my retirement. It's my time now to do that. And how I do it is I wake up in the morning. One of my favorite um, American Native American flute players is this Johnny Lipford. If you love the Native American flute, I highly recommend giving him a try. So I will just listen to him. I'll just do a couple seconds of him here for you. There you go. Let's see if I can get it to play now. <laughs> oh, there it goes. And so I will listen to him and I will be working on my pictures. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that in a morning. Just to, um, I don't know, look at the beauty I've captured and enhance the pictures and share them on Instagram. I just love that more than anything in the world. Um, I really do. I know a lot of YouTube critics out there are thinking my life is boring. <laughs> But, you know, I don't live my life for them. The point is, is that I am happy. There's Milo. We just woke up. I'm kind of working on my clothes. I'm also doing that. I brought out some winter clothes. And uh, I always air out my bed when I first get up and just kind of let the sheets air out. And then I'll go back there and make, make up my bed. So that's why... Uh, that kind of looks a little messy back there. Yeah, I ran out of propane. <laughs> so I have my temporary portable one because right up there because I can't uh, I can't use my onboard right now, but I've got plenty of um, heat from my wave three and a portable bulk tank. I had to borrow um, Kent's because my bulk also ran out so we're going into town tomorrow to stock up on the propane anyways yeah this is one of my favorite mornings it really is when I do this and I have my coffee so my coffee is right here and I'm doing this on my phone I'm just nothing fancy today. I'm going to go back and do short little videos sometimes. And what I love about being on the road at times. Yeah, just simple going back to how I used to do videos in the beginning. I wanted to take a moment to just um, express what I'm feeling feeling right now especially now that I turn 60 <laughs> um, it's been a long journey up to this point on how I got into the van life remember and I'm going to have a more detailed video explaining that especially for the new people but basically I worked hard my whole life I had careers, not just a job. You know, I had my first job was an aerospace inspector, and I did that for uh, 16 years. And then I ended up moving to Oregon, and I had to change careers. So I ended up deciding... Um, when we got the house and the dogs and you know with me and my ex-husband 
I just re it just rekindled my love for for dogs. It really did. And I thought I want to do something with dogs. I just, you know, it's just my passion. And I thought, well, you know, veterinarian, I don't know, you see them kind of hurt and even though you help them, but you, there's also the death of the animals. And I just thought, I don't want to do that, but I wanted to do something with dogs. So I ended up looking into a school that they had back then, a grooming school for, for, for dogs. And I thought, well, you know, how about grooming? I can groom them. <laughs> And it's a, it's a positive environment to be in. And I thought, yeah, let me do that. And so there was a school out on the east side in Oregon. I don't think it's there anymore. Uh, but it was called the Terralera Grooming School Academy or something like that. So I went to go and check them out. And I said, how much is it to go to the school? And it was like about $5,000 to go to the school. And I thought, well, I don't even know if I'm going to like this. And so this is a story. I'm going to start sharing little stories about how I got here. And uh, so then I ended up discovering that I can make money while I groom because I walked into a retail store and I said, you know, what is it like to, to do grooming and how would I like it, blah, blah, blah. And I just started asking questions about it. And the girl that was there, the manager happened to be there in the grooming salon. And she said, well, guess what? I can hire you and you can figure it out, you know, and make money while you're doing it. So I actually got a job that way just by walking in and inquiring about the grooming. And then I ended up getting the job. So then what turned out to happen later is I ended up uh, going into uh, the dog training at that company. And I ended up being a dog trainer uh, and I worked for this company for 18 years. So I had a career and I became a certified dog trainer. I pursued it in every way I could to have the best career, but my body failed me. Okay. And I ended up, uh, on the road eventually. But we'll pick up the rest of that story a little bit later as I just kind of share little bits of how I'm here, how I ended up to supporting myself, how I'm going to be supporting myself now that I'm 60. And I'll be sharing little bits of that as time goes on. But for now, you know, just to know that I had careers. No, I'm sorry, 16 years and then 18 years. And many times I worked two jobs, especially in the beginning of my life. There was many times I did that. So I worked hard. I worked hard. So that's why I'm really embracing this part of my life. I mean, it's my retirement. I'm so excited to just, for the future is going to take me from this point on. But stay tuned. I'll share more as time goes on. I just want to get a quick video up and start sharing a little bit more of me and my thoughts, my feelings. Now that I'm 60, in a van, traveling, my future, what what's going on in this little brain of mine, you know, and uh, stay tuned. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and thanks for sharing my journey. And I really do appreciate you being here and being a part of this journey and your comments. Um, I really do. Uh, remember, I've never done YouTube for the money. Obviously, I only make like maybe a hundred a year. And um, so that's why I've backed off because, you know, I, it's just sometimes the people 
out there are not the most positive, uplifting people. I just delete them. Life is too short. I don't get the money out there from this platform to take that. I won't address them. I delete them. I get rid of them. Life is too short. I really feel that way because it's not a job. It's never been a job for me. And I will explain later on how I have gotten this far without needing YouTube to be my job. And I really do feel sorry for those that have to make this their job and take all the negativity that sometimes can be thrown at them on this platform. And that's another reason why I love Instagram. So make sure you follow me over there. Share my beautiful photography with, with you all there. I just love it. And interacting with everybody over there. And remember, I'm at Irene's Ventures because... Who knows how long I'll be in a van. My retirement is getting more serious here on where I'm going to land or what I'm going to do in the future um, as I age. So stay tuned. And I will see you all over on Instagram as well as here. And have a wonderful day. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.